Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is the start of our three day countdown until we move. We have a lot of packing to do, a lot of cleaning to do, and everything is just in total chaos. If you have been following along, you know that we recently just had a little baby boy. He turned a month yesterday and he is right here next to me, just hanging out. And we have also been doing house rentals. We have been documenting that journey because it is our first time ever doing anything like that. And I am so thankful to my husband that is willing to learn how to do everything from scratch and tackle it head on because we have saved a ton of money and I'm so excited for our home to be how we want it. Um, and then on top of that, we also have had a little incident with our puppy who broke her paw. She got it caught in a fence trying to get to the neighbor dogs at my mom's while we were doing our house renos and now she is in a cast. Hey mommy. There's, there's Bailey. We call her Limpy right now because, well, she limps around with that big thing. So today we are going to focus on packing, organizing, and cleaning. What is that? Is this a portrait? No, you can color on that if you want. Um, we have been kind of in survival mode. If you are a mom, you know what I'm talking about. We have used the TV more than I would like to admit. Um, but, you know, we are just, we are at that stage right now in life where you gotta do what you gotta do. There are so many things to be done in a day and not enough hours. <sighs> I do not recommend moving after having a baby. I completely do not recommend that at all. It has been so hard to juggle mom life and trying to help out with everything on top of making sure the toddlers are attended to um it's been it's just been so hard to balance it so this vlog is going to be over the course of the next two days while we pack and get everything situated to load into our u-haul i will take you along with what we have already packed kind of our process of packing especially with kids and how we're doing it this time around uh, we did opt to get the largest U-Haul because we are moving about an hour and a half away and we don't want to make any extra trips with cars. We want it to be a one shot and done deal. Um, so I am hoping that we fit in the 26 foot U-Haul. I think we should because we already did a few loads to the house. Um, but in our previous moves, we have always had to do a ton of extra car moves, um, load the cars, you know, and bring them to the next place and we don't want to do that this time. So let me show you what we have done already. So right now this is the girls room. If you can see it is a total mess. We are like half packed, half on the floor. Um, we took apart the girls bunk beds yet last night, Tom did, and he has that stacked up in our dining room. We plan on trying, holy moly my hair. We plan on trying to get everything in our dining room together that way we can just load everything to the u-haul from the dining room and that way i can clean the rest of the apartment so that is our goal these next few days is to clear out the rest of the rooms to get them empty i can clean them get everything stacked in there and ready to go um i have debated since this is our first time moving with three kids if we should pack the kids stuff last or not. Um, we did, like I said, opt to take down their bed and I was a little worried about how they would handle that transi transition, but they did great. We made it fun, like it's a little sleepover. Um, so that was no big deal. But I think today I'm going to finish out clearing the rest of their room. They have all these things here. No, I'm doing it right now. No, I'm doing it right now. Um, so I just want to finish clearing out their closet. I have their clothes in this little drawer thing that um, is like their clothes for right now and then I have all their other clothes packed up. I'll show you what I mean. What I decided to do this time is to put both girls clothes in here. So these are Delilah's clothes, these are Melina's clothes for the time being and then each one has a drawer of pants. So Melina's pants and Delilah's pants and then our socks and undies in here. Each one has a jammy bin and so these and ones... these are Delilah's undies? Yes. These ones are going to just be packed in like this. That way they're easy and accessible for us. And these are Delilah's little socks? Yeah. Dad, this is Dad, a box Dad, of all their other clothes. You know, I know it is so it. much. I hope they to minimize it. Minimize. It really looks like a lot because all the extra hangers up here. But all the clothes are underneath, and then we have all this stuff. Step back.
with Delilah and Baby Deal. I don't have any of those printed. And so, uh, I want to find a spot for a gallery wall. All right, we are now on a Thursday and we have so much to do. We only have one more day left. I am getting the sense of a little bit of overwhelm. Um, I am thinking I'm gonna be staying up late tonight, trying to finish everything. Um, packing with kids is no joke. And yeah, that's where we're at. Let me show you what I got accomplished yesterday because I stopped filming. I really didn't like the angle that it was showing and it was just a pain in the butt where the camera was. But I got this closet pretty much all done. I just have a few odd and on things that I'm going to be trying to fit in other baskets. The kids room is pretty much emptied out. I just have a box of books and I have a box of toys that need to be transferred out. When we're ready, I'm gonna finish up packing the kids' toys today. I'll show you our pile of stuff that we have right now. We have all this stuff. We have this tower, this, and then we plan on breaking down our uh, kitchen table today. We got more boxes because, believe it or not, we need them. Uh, I thought we were gonna get away with not purchasing any boxes but apparently we were unable to do so. I'm gonna be working on finishing my room. If you can see this current state of a disaster. Um, but I almost have my closet cleared out as well, which is good. Our closets seem to be like our storage spot for everything in the apartment here, so it holds so much stuff. Um, so I've been trying to tackle those because I know that there is a lot in there. Tomorrow when Tom gets home, we plan on packing the truck right away. So, our goal is to get all this packed up and ready to go. Okay, it is moving day, and so far my mother and father-in-law delivered our U-Haul truck because it was an hour and a half away, or maybe just an hour away, but they got that for us because Tom is working today. Uh, so I have been home finishing packing. He stayed up late last night trying to get a bulk of it done. He moved around the bigger stuff and disassembled things. This is how we slept last night. It is a room full of mattresses. Uh, needless to say, the girls loved it. They thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, but all of the rooms are taken apart. And we are just finishing up the final things, uh, getting ready for our move. I'm trying to get the apartment clean at the same time. That way, uh, when we leave tonight, we can drop our keys off at the management building and be done. Um, I am really hoping I don't have to come back and do any cleaning because we are an hour and a half away and it would be awesome if we could just completely um, finish up today. But that has required a lot <laughs> of work today and thankfully the girls and Theo are cooperating the best that they can. It's definitely been a hard couple days with me being so busy 
and I just feel like I have not had time to just sit down and enjoy them and I'm looking forward to getting that back. It feels good to just sit. I haven't done that all day, which is why I have not picked up the camera to film any stuff that I am doing last minute, but we are making progress and we will get there, is what Tom says. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, while my mother and father-in-law were helping load some of the boxes uh, in our U-Haul, our Milo pup decided that he wanted to venture the outdoors during rain. Um, he snuck outside as Melina was opening the door and he just took off. So, I know they've said this before, but if you have a great pair of knees, they will run on you. Do not trust it off leash. Thankfully, he is very food oriented, so I ran in, I got his food bowl and I shook it and he came right to me and I was able to get him. But for a moment there, I thought he was a goner. He was just running. He kind of runs like a horse. Like he runs and then he kicks his back legs up and then it's kind of funny. He just, he's a silly runner. But um, thankfully he came back and we have him home safe. He'll be in a room with the door closed to make sure that he does not get out because that gave me a heart attack and I would have been heartbroken. So I'm so glad that he has home safe. Um, just, the, just the fun of moving with kids and pets, right? Uh, unfortunately, since it is an apartment, we don't have a yard to put them in, which we are looking forward for that in the future. Um, and I hate to have him in a room where he barks because we do have neighbors. So it's just, it's a tough situation. But today is our last day. Um, so we won't have to deal with that anymore. But I am having mixed emotions. I am feeling a little sad and a little overwhelmed. Um, a little excited as well. But there are some big changes coming, especially for me since I'm home with the kids all the time. Um, we are an hour and a half away so our family won't be just popping in anymore or anything like that. And our playdates will have to be a little bit more coordinated. Um, but this is what we wanted and I am so excited to start our next chapter but it's also sad leaving behind what you're used to and what you're comfortable with. So I'm just feeling all the feels right now and just soaking it in and appreciating the home that we've had for the past three years but also excited for our future home. So I'm going to get back to packing because I do have a few more things to get done. I have to finish a little bit of cleaning, not much, um, just I have to move some boxes around and clean in our laundry room and then I am just waiting for Tom to get home from work and our helpers for the move so we can start our adventure. We'll keep you updated. Someone's tired from all the packing. How do you think you can fix this problem? I need a witch to get The other one? Not so much. <laughs> this guy though. He's been a sweeper. Oh, that baby acne. 